Hey, this Miss B, Felicious. You know me. Mm-hmm. It's talk about Tasha K all over How the news. She operates on yeah, YouTube. when I heard this here, YouTube I had to bring it. Take her down. Take off. That is Tasha K. Talk about Tasha. The Unwind channel. She is Unwind. Mm. If you don't know Tasha K, she's got a lot of fans. She's got more subscribers than sure I do. Sure do. I've been aware of her for a while, but I never really watched her videos until now. And I watched a few of them, and I was shocked, mortified, and afraid for the YouTube community. This woman is a danger to YouTube, and I'm not saying that for shock value. I'm not saying that to be clickbaity. I know what I'm talking about. I've been around long enough. I know how the law works. I know what is ethical. I know what is right. I know what being a good journalist is, okay? I get a lot of information. I don't run it all because I can't verify it all. And if, you've, if you have watched this woman's videos and, or you're a subscriber of hers, you'll notice that she's changed the way that she talks about things now. Okay. She says a whole hell of a lot of allegedly, allegedly, okay. allegedly, allegedly about the allegation. Let me explain something to Tasha K. That oh, I am do very so. well acquainted with. Just because you say allegedly mm -hmm. does not mean you won't get sued. Does not mean that oh is my gosh. okay for you to say. Underneath, underneath it all, Okay, an entertainment reporter needs to believe fully that the information they have is correct and accurate. I get a ton of stuff sent to me via DM like that woman and emailed. I can't run it all. I'm not going to run it all because who, who is that person? They could be lying. I have no way. I can try to verify it, and I do. And, you know, so a lot of times you reach a wall, the management will deny it, the publicist will deny it, I can't get access to a friend or a family member or somebody who will confirm or deny or speak on it at all. And it just, even if people are watching Tasha K for just entertainment value, she should just change what she's do doing, you know, what she's done in the past not do it that way anymore because she's built up a nice following i don't know if her if you are a subscriber let me know in the comments section why you follow tasha k i doubt people are following her to see what stories she breaks i think they watch her because of her so if she just switched to just commentary i think she'd be just fine and continue to grow and get attention but all of these scoops and exclusives, like the one that she just had about Portia Williams and her baby daddy and him being into you saw that? things that I will not even mention because I don't want to get sued. If you've forgotten, this is also the same woman that has been sued by Cardi B. Cardi B sued her, is in the mm. process of litigation against her. And by the way... Man. I hope she's making a lot of money, Tasha K, because lawsuits are not cheap. And I don't think it's very much like Cardi B to just sue anybody. Because she's been around a long time now. I was going to say around the block. i got to stop saying that. She's Ooh, been to the rodeo many shake. times. Cardi B has. And she knows how to play the game. She knows what it's all about. She sued this one woman because she made up the most salacious, untrue, gross, awful. Look how they dis look how this is about Cardi. Wow, and Tasha, your name is out I'm there. I'm not sure. I don't know if the people watching her, if they're aware enough to know that ninety percent of what she's saying is lies. But that's the sad part. Look why it's out there. If there's an audience for that, you know. The National Enquirer, Life and Style, In Touch. Mm. People read those every week knowing 85% of all of that is not true.
And I think that if Tasha K does not change how she operates on YouTube, YouTube should take her down. 